We are continuing our coverage on the DCEU, the future of DC movies, and the Snyderverse. So, yo, your boy is back. We're back on the DC videos. We were on the Multiverse of Madness hype for a few days, but we are back on the DC content. So, what is good, YouTube boys? You have you are new around here. Make sure to subscribe to never miss any the Marvel DC pop culture based content that we do on a daily basis. If you could subscribe to the channel, turn notifications on, and let me know everything down below that you think about this video. Also, check us out on Instagram. We are so close to 23,000 subscribers. The handle is at Warstu. Also, check us out on the Twitter sphere, Warstu G. We are very close. We are so freaking close to 100 followers on the Twitter sphere. So, we're going to talk about Ezra Miller, The Flash. There is some freaking clickbait going around. Exclusive Warner Bros. considering replacing Ezra Miller, The Flash with Dylan O'Brien. Now, I'm going to tell you why, without even, I've not even clicked into the article yet. I'm going to tell you why this is factually gonna be fake news and gonna be a fake exclusive. Why? Well, because the movie's already filmed, principal photography. The movie cost at least $200 million. Ezra Miller is playing multiple characters of variances of The Flash in this movie. So to replace him, and it's actually Warner Bros. Discovery, Screen, screen Geek, get your freaking sources right. It's Warner Bros. Discovery. So let me get it straight. They're gonna replace him, which means they're gonna have to do another $200 million budget. Even though Warner Bros. Discovery is realistically trying to keep costs down. Now, they could replace Ezra Miller. At the end of the movie, when they set up the new universe, you get a new face behind Ezra Miller. But I did not believe for one second they are actually going to replace him and reshoot the whole movie. Do you realize that would be very hard to get Ben Affleck to come back, to get Keaton to come back, etc. There's a lot of moving pieces, hundreds of people working on that movie. They aren't going to reshoot the whole movie. But what is interesting is I did look at a, a lot of the kind of shares on this and stuff and Screen Geek actually responded saying the article didn't say they want to replace Ezra Miller in The Flash. Okay, the title says Warner Bros is considering replacing Ezra Miller as The Flash. Okay, you can see how some people seem to think that's the same thing. As the controversy surrounding Ezra Miller continues to add up, many fans are anxious to know what will happen with this character. They're not really anxious. They realistically don't care who plays The Flash. He's a staple of the DCE you and it was expected he'd be appearing in many films in the up and coming years no one cares for him seriously get him out no one freaking cares he's a relevant actor he is so small could we be replaced and no one would care everyone knows that many of the actors have been cancelled for this so far with that in mind we've learned that Warner Bros is considering their options when it comes to replacing Ezra Miller as you know he's gone a bit crazy recently he has gone he being Ezra Miller has gone a bit crazy recently throwing chairs at people attacking people stealing passports it's unclear how how many actors have topped WB's list to replace Ezra Miller as the Flash? One such name that came from a close source in the situation has informed us that Dylan O'Brien, the 30 year old actor known for roles such as including Teen Wolf, and he played lead in Love and Monsters. Okay, so far we're nearly end the article and I haven't actually seen anything that states anything. Of course, fans have their own picks of who could replace the Flash. One popular choice would be Grant Gustin, an easy choice because he's already played the character. The problem with that is they would associate that with being the Arrowverse and not DCU. In any case, it might be best to go with someone like Dylan O'Brien for replacing Ezra Miller, although it's still a mystery how such change will fit in the DCU narrative with Warner Bros. Discovery. Eagerly having to overhaul the property, however, there could be any number of changes that will allow this to happen. As such, we'll just have to wait and see what happens with Ezra Miller and Warner Brothers Discovery decision. Interesting. Very interesting. Then we get, oh my god, we get a blue tick. We get someone who thinks they've got a bit of clout. You got a blue tick yet you've only got 20,000 followers. Uh -huh, yeah. Why you got a tick for? Oh, right, because you work for Variety. I'm told that WB is not considered replacing the Flash Ezra Miller. Ezra Miller was arrested in Hawaii this year once for disloyalty conduct, harassment, and again for a second degree assault. Uh, I really don't believe anyone with ticks just because you yeah, right. I mean, I'm hearing personally from sources I know personally, they are discussing what to do and he probably will be replaced in reshoots, but not in the actual movie. Here we are replaced in some kind of post-credit scene. They can't reshoot a $200 million movie. And then this verified account wants to say, it's also worth noting, The Flash finished shooting months ago. Cool story, bro. Literally everyone knows that. And Ezra Miller plays multiple variations of Barry Allen. Replacing them would have you mean reshoot an entire movie. What? You mean like they did with Doctor Strange 2? I deleted the previous tweet from Misgendering Miller, who identifies as non-binary. Oh, he identifies as non-binary. Cool story. So Ezra Miller, he apparently 
is not getting replaced. Interesting. But I find it very funny how I read a few tweets and tweets like, the article didn't say they want to replace Ezra Miller in The Flash. No, they said they want to replace Ezra Miller as the character, which is literally the same thing. Screen Geek, you've you had some information right before, but this is hardly an exclusive. Ever since he started throwing chairs and he stole someone's passports, there's been stories, there's been allegations, there's been rumors that WB has to step in. And you know, the Twitter super duper scoop is like, yeah, they're not going to do anything. It's over a year away. I kind of agree with what you're saying, but don't entirely agree because, yeah, they can't reshoot the whole movie, but they can write him out just at the end and have a new face behind Barry Allen reappear at the end of the movie, setting up the new timeline. But then you have to fact you're in. What is Warner Bros. Discovery going to do? They literally could just scrap everything and reboot from the start. Now, it is interesting that Dylan O'Brien has not officially been cast as Nightwing. O'Brien has heavily been involved or portrayed in the Batgirl, yes. For some reason, people seem to think that Dylan O'Brien was officially going to be cast as Nightwing in Batgirl just because the directors are saying side follow him. It's really interesting how most of these little Twitter scoopers make up information. It's recently came out. Now, I find this one interesting. This one is hella fun. So Tom Cruise was going to be in the Multiverse of Madness, but he never was. Rolling Stones. So let's be totally clear. Did anyone reach out to Tom Cruise? Michael? Who is Michael? Well, Michael is actually one of the writers on Doctor Strange 2. And he had this to say. I don't believe so. I just don't think it was ever an option because of his availability. So let me get you straight. All the Twitter super duper scoopers said that Tom Cruise Iron Man wasn't going to appear in that movie. They all backtracked one week to go. And then the screenwriter comes out. It's like, yeah, no one actually ever spoke to him. <laughs> so yeah, you have to take all these little scoops with a pinch of salt. But yeah, I do believe believe Ezra Miller will be replaced as a Flash going forward, not in this movie because he plays three different Flashes. They would have to reshoot the whole movie. And as of the time of recording this video, Ezra has 20,000 tweets. I don't believe what the Variety guy says. Oh, WB is not looking to replace him. Yeah, they are. They really are. I mean, it's Variety. I mean, they leaked the whole Harry Styles being in Eternals. Do you believe anyone from Variety? Uh, no. And then One Take News comes out, despite the legal issues, Ezra Miller would not be recast as the Flash. Screen Geek reported that Miller would be recast cast. It's interesting. It's like he said, she said, we've got the better scoop. No, we've got the better scoop. No, my information is correct. No, my information is correct. Why does it seem like they are going to protect Ezra Miller? Well, they did this for Amber Heard, didn't they? They were protecting Amber Heard. And then you hear she's only got 10 minutes in Aquaman 2. Oh, will they keep protecting Ezra Miller when he keeps doing these crazy actions? They can't keep protecting Ezra Miller, can they? No. So let's talk some Snyderverse stuff because that's most likely probably why you're here. It's also in the so, Clay Stubbs, I believe that's how you pronounce it, has been teasing so much stuff, it appears he, the Snyderverse, is already restored. So he posted this. Time is just an illusion. Restore the Snyderverse. And then there's an image of Batfleck, and it's Batfleck from the Nightmare. And then you see a Green Lantern, you see Joker, you see Gawala, Wonder Woman, etc. And it appears that he is teasing the Snyderverse so much to the point where it looked like, I mean, it looks like armored one woman. It's interesting to me because I never really pay attention to all subtle things like this. But he also posted this. As promised, my hard-boiled egg recommend. Regarding the incredible passionate Snyderverse fans out there, you know my thoughts on the subject someday as a filmmaker. I never tease that which I do not know or can't share. Keep the M's glowing and passion alive. What the freaking hell is he teasing? So he's teasing a bunch of stuff. Does that mean the Snyderverse is going to be restored. Can we put Restore the Snyderverse in the title for a temp time in a row? I don't know, guys, but Clay is teasing something. As we know, he's worked with Snyder a lot. Can't share. I see you. Can't share. Can't share, but you've literally said I never tease that, which I do not know or can't share. But you are teasing something by putting that there. It's interesting that a lot of people are going to say the Snyderverse is now restored because of what he's been saying. But there is so many subtle hints. What discovery... Warner Bros. Discovery have been saying, if you've not been sleeping under a rock recently, WB are in trouble. And David Zasloff does not like what Warner Brothers have been doing to the point where they're cancelling everything. Cancelling a bunch of movies, bunch of TV shows. So it's clear the Snyderverse will be restored at some point. At some point, the Snyderverse will be restored. Also, in the freaking news, lads and ladettes, or lasses, apparently, that's what people call me in England. Uh, Superman is coming 
come in as well. Anything that doesn't make sense to the new universe DCEU establishing, or they won't fit into Matt Reeves' doing, is highly in danger. Cool. The next few months will be very interesting for DC fans, because they want Superman in the DCEU, and they want him to be one of the new faces. And they don't want people to say, I like this version over that version. They want a unified version. Release the Henry Cavill cut. Interesting. They have a Superman script and it's no longer a period of peace. That was in response to what do you think will happen with the Superman movie that AAA Ham I Ruined Star Wars is producing? I personally don't think to think that's going to see the light of day ever. And Henry Cavill could be coming back. Could be. I hear a lot of things. I'm not going to speak about what I've heard about. That was coming courtesy of the Moonlight Warrior, who has some Twitter clout, whatever that means. So yeah, Superman movie coming soon. So who's it going to be, we don't know. So that is the Snyderverse could be restored. Clay keeps teasing it. He doesn't share stuff that he does not know of. I don't know. Is the Snyderverse restored? Something's happening behind the scenes for sure, lads and ladettes and lasses. So let me know. Is Dylan O'Brien gonna replace someone in the DCEU? Is he gonna replace the Flash? We don't know. We really don't know. But it's looking very likely. So like always, guys, check us out on Instagram at WarsG if you want to see the beautiful face behind the beautiful voice. Check us out on Twitter, WarsGG. Also check us out on this channel, which you're on right now subscribe turn notifications on and comment down below who would you recast Ezra Miller as if you could I'd go with someone like Grant Gustin but I can tell the difference between the Arrowverse and a DCEU verse anyway I'll catch you in another video very soon guys catch you later